Hey everybody, it's Michael from the Loftus Party down here by the LA River. Yeah, man, uh, where we all started like a year ago. It, it was like this time uh, last year, I looked at the YouTube channel, I was just sitting there, I'm like, I gotta jump in, I gotta do something with that. And it's been fantastic. You guys have been the best. In in a very short time, we've doubled our subscribers. I love each and every one of you. Uh, if you're new to the channel, check it out. There's lots here. There's politics. There's movies. There's tons of reviews and great stuff. Interviews. So anyway, uh, if you're new, click like, click subscribe. Hit that little bell. That way you won't miss nothing. Okay, uh, coming up. I'm very excited about this. Han Solo's coming out. I got, all, I got it all riding on this movie. I was so bummed out with what they did with The Last Jedi. Uh, it seems like they're doing their best to ruin this franchise. So I'm gonna say it right here, right now. Help us, Han Solo. You're our only hope. I have to think everybody and their mother said that, but I'm gonna say it too. Okay, so here's what's in the news. Uh, we got out of the Iran deal. Everybody's freaking out. I am not. Here's why. You look at history. Uh, these deals never work. They never work. You might as well play hardball and walk away. Uh, a long time ago, uh, they're like, oh, we have a deal uh, with, with Syria. We have a deal with Syria, and uh, they're never going to have chemical weapons anymore. We got rid of all their chemical weapons. And then they started using chemical weapons uh, on their people, and we didn't do nothing. And then before that, they were, oh, we got a deal with North Korea. We got a deal with them, and uh, they're never going to have nukes. They're never going to, and now North Korea's testing nukes and launching stuff left and right. So that's what happens. I think when you you seem soft and you kind of negotiate maybe a little bit too much, because now there's a new sheriff in town. There's Sheriff Trump, and he means business. Yeah, uh, Syria started using chemical weapons on their people, and Trump said, whoop -hap! no you don't, a little smackdown. Then they tried it again, whoop -hap, whoop -hap! a double smackdown. And now people know he doesn't mess around. He's got a little history of uh, laying a little whoop ass out there. So. Uh, magically, mystically, hmm, North Korea, who we had a deal with, who they'd never have nukes. Now North Korea wants to talk to South Korea and they want to talk to us about ending the Korean War and maybe getting rid of their nukes. Isn't that crazy? So we got out of the Iran deal. I say good. Good, good, good. Now I know John Kerry worked real hard and Obama worked real hard and we, we crossed the, the T's and we dotted the I's, Mike. We worked, so that's that's awesome. But it was a crappy deal. You know, the, the, the thing ran out in like 2025 and it's not like they were, you guys, let's just be honest. They were, they were still gonna try to get a nuke. They was gonna be super sneaky about it. But I guess in 2025, they could just go full tilt boogie. Yeah, uh, no. No, I don't dig this. Not from a country that has a death to America day. That's like a holiday. I don't know if you still have to work at a bank or not, or, or who has to, they, they literally have a death to America day. I don't I don't think they're negotiating in good faith. So Trump got out of the deal. And, and I tell you what, you guys, he had barely stopped talking. Trump had barely stopped talking before in the Iranian parliament, they were already burning American flags, saying death to America again. No, no, my friends. I Israel went in there. They got a bunch of evidence. They know it's jacked up. They know that Iranians uh, weren't living up to the deal. So get out. Let's 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 get them sanctions rolling again. Get them back to the table. So uh, if your friends are freaking out, we're out of the Iranian deal. It's gonna be okay. I'd rather deal with it now than later. Here's what happens when you ignore a little problem. When you ignore a little problem, it turns into a big problem and it turns into a monster every friggin' time. So let's not ignore it, let's take care of it now. Okay, I'm kinda upbeat and optimistic about the whole thing. Maybe it's because I'm outside. Maybe because I framed this up beautifully. Maybe because there's flowers and sunshine and fresh LA air and traffic good times. Hey, subscribe to the channel. I love you. You're the best. We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. We're everywhere. Theloftestparty.com. Good Lord, go to the website and hold on to your underwear because pa -pang, it will be blown away. <laughs> I'll see you later. We'll talk Solo. We'll talk Star Wars. We'll talk Avengers. Good Lord, have you seen the Avengers clip I did? You got to see that. It's pretty awesome. All right. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.